Thank you, Johnny. Hi, folks, and welcome. This is Jeopardy! This is Jeopardy! Introducing today's contestant. Player one. Player two. Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Hey, Johnny, thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the Jeopardy round. For this game, the categories are South Korea, Inti Fresh, Controversial TV, Literary Bears, The Solar System, and Monopoly. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Player one, make a selection. With more than 10 million people, it's the largest city in South Korea. Player one, use the Wii remote or press the corresponding direction on the plus control. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Choose again, player the one. The 12th century book, Samguk Sagi, recounts the time when this religion came to Korea from India. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> hey, you're right. Player one, pick again. At the 2008 Summer Olympics, South Korea's Cha Dong Min won the heavyweight gold medal in this national sport. Yes, player one. Ah! That is correct. Select again. This medicinal herb of the genus Panax is native to Korea. Okay, player one. Right. <laughs> We return to you, player MacArthur one. MacArthur thought the battle for this port would end the Korean War. Didn't work out that way. Let's hear it, player one. Good. You get to pick again, player one. Q or die. It's player two. Yes. <laughs> Please pick again, player A thin two. piece of rigid material to maintain a body part in a fixed position. Player one. Yeah! Right you are. Player one. A short race at full speed. Okay, player one. You are correct. <laughs> player one, you pick five letter word for gleaming brightness or luster. Yes, player two. That's correct. <laughs> player two, to look with the eyes partly closed. It's player one. That's it. Player one, back to you. This singer's hip gyrations on the Ed Sullivan Show in 1957 were not shown because they were deemed too sexual. Okay, player three. Good. <laughs> We return to you, player three. In a speech, this real-life VP blasted fictional Murphy Brown for her choice to have a child out of wedlock. Player one? <laughs> That's right. Way to go. Select again. This animated show proved nothing is sacred with the episode Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. 
good. Please pick again, player she one. She shocked many with her wardrobe malfunction in the 2004 Super Bowl halftime show. Yes, player two. <laughs> you again, player two. It was alien telekinesis that caused TV's first interracial kiss on this show. Let's hear it, player three. Yes. You get to pick again, player three. This literary bear started life as a real teddy bear bought as a toy for Christopher Milne. Okay, player two. Correct. <laughs> Player two, back to you. Created by Walt Morey, this docile bear lives in the Alaskan wilderness. Player one. Good for you. Player one. This bear got his name from the London train station where he was first found after arriving from Peru. Yes, player one. You got it. Choose again, player one. On this doctor's island, you'll find a bear bull and an old woman made of vixen and bear. It's player three. That is correct. Player three, you pick again. Answer? The Daily Double. Here's a chance to break the tie. How much? Here is your Daily Double clue. His story, The Bear, recounts an annual hunting expedition in Yoknapatawpha County, Mississippi. Yes. You again, player two. In December of 2006, NASA announced that water may have flowed on this planet's surface within the past decade. Player one? <laughs> right. <laughs> Player one? Back in 1980, Hermes, one of these objects, came within 300,000 miles of the Earth. Okay, player two. Right. <laughs> Player two. Pick On October 10th, 1846, 17 days after the discovery of this planet, its largest moon, Triton, was discovered. Yes, Player two. Yeah! That's correct. <laughs> hey. Choose again. Player These two. These solar discharges, consisting of light, heat, and cosmic rays, may last up to an hour. Let's hear it, player one. Good for you. <laughs> player one, you pick again. In July of 2005, scientists announced the discovery of Eris, a dwarf planet larger than Pluto, in this belt. It's player two. That is correct. You get to pick again, player two. A classic PBS kids series, The Taught Reading, shared its name with this Monopoly utility. Okay, player one. Woo! Yes. <laughs> player one, back. Each time a player passes go, he collects this salary. Yes, player two. Yep. We return to you, player two. A question two. mark is on the space in which you draw one of these cards. It's player two. Woo 
Correct. <laughs> Please pick again, player Tokens two. Tokens that are household items include the iron and this sewing accessory. Let's hear it, player one. Good. Yeah! And here's the thousand dollar clue. A railroad and an avenue are both named for this state. Player two. Hey, you're right. Okay, we have player three in third place, which means that player three will go first in the double jeopardy round. Blues are worth $400 to $2,000 in these categories. What a TV character. American history? What the H? Note the quotation marks. The largest in area. Nasal passages. And medicine. All right, if you're ready, it's double jeopardy time. Well, golly! He left his job and home in Mayberry to join the Marine Corps. It's player one. <laughs> right. Select again. On the Adams family, he was married to Morticia. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah! You are correct. Player one, pick a Pavel was the first name of this Star Trek character played by Walter Koenig. Player one. Good. You get to pick again. Answer, the first of the Daily Doubles. You are in the lead right now. How much are you going to wager, player one? And the Daily Double Clue. During a dream sequence, it was revealed that this Richard Dean Anderson character had the first name Angus. You have maintained your lead. Way to go. Player one, back. Hardcore fans of Gilligan's Island know that this character's real name is Roy Hinckley. Yes, player two. Yes. Player two, back to you for our next selection. When the British approached, the Concord militia didn't know about the skirmish at this place earlier that day. Okay, player two. Correct. We return to you, player two. World War I sales of Liberty These, whose posters showed the statue, raised more than $15 billion. Let's hear it, player three. That's correct. <laughs> player three, you pick a... You didn't want to make the mistake of following the South instead of the North Platte on this pioneer trail. It's player three. <laughs> right you are. You again, player three. Answer, the second daily double. Player three, you're in last place. What'll it be? What are you going to wait? Here is your clue. The U.S. supplied materiel to its allies during World War II through this 1941 Congressional Act. You are now in second place. Choose again, player three. Here's Kelly with the clue. This World War II General's private carriage is on display at Wisconsin's National Railroad Museum. Okay, player one. You got it. Please pick again, player one. On January 10th, 2010, 
This island republic was struck by a devastating earthquake. Yes, player three. That is correct. Select again. It's the HT in HTTP and HTML. Player two. Right. Player two. Back. Olympic event won twice by Jackie Joyner Kersey. It's player two. Yes. <laughs> Please pick again. In the 18th century BC, he wrote down his famous list of do's and don'ts. Player two. Good. Player two. You pick. Used in marching bands, it's a large bass tuba that encircles the player's body. Yes, player two. That's it. You again, player two. Mexico, United States, Canada. Okay, player one. <laughs> That's right, way to go. Player one. Pakistan, India, Bangladesh. Let's hear it, player two. <laughs> right. You get to pick again. Saudi Arabia, Oman, Yemen. Okay, player two. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> player two. Back to you. Spain, Germany, France. It's player one. Good. <laughs> Choose again, player one. Libya, Egypt, Tunisia. Player one? Yep. Select again. And there in the wood a piggy wig stood, with a ring at the end of his nose, in the poem about this bird, and a feline. Yes, player two. <laughs> right you are. We return to you. Truly that nose is the glorious cross he bears, is said of this romantic Rostand hero. Let's hear it, player three. That's it. You again, player three. To see what is in front of one's nose needs a constant struggle, wrote this man in 1946, not in 1984. Player three? That is correct. Choose again, player three. Lightly was her slender nose tip-tilted like the petal of a flower. This lord wrote in Idols of the King. It's player two. Good. <laughs> player two. A Pascal Pensé. If the nose of this queen had been shorter, the whole face of the world would have been changed. Yes, player one. Good for you. We return to you, player one. A cold that lasts longer than a week may indicate inflammation of these air spaces in the skull. Okay, player two. Yeah! Hey, 
Hey, you're right. You get to pick again, player two. All right, here with the clue is Kelly. Red blood cells are distorted into a particular shape and don't carry oxygen well in patients with this type of anemia. Let's hear it, player three. That is correct. Player three, pick again. Suspect Rocky Mountain spotted fever even in patients from the Carolinas, as it's an area with lots of these critters. Okay, player three. You got it. Player three, a stent is a tube often used to hold these open, especially the coronary ones. Player two. That's correct. And now the $2,000 clue. The air puff test, a measure of eye pressure, is used to diagnose this condition. It's player three. Yes. Looks like you'll all be moving on to Final Jeopardy after this break. This is the Final Jeopardy category for today. Traveling the globe. So, what's your wager? Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. All right, players, this is what it comes down to. Here is the final Jeopardy clue. Flying due west from Los Angeles, it's the first foreign country you would reach. Let's see your response. And this correct response will add how much to your score? And your response? And that correct response will add... Did you come up with the correct response? With that correct response, <laughs> you will gain You've come out ahead as our champion, player one. So long. Everybody.